guys this is Shanita thank you for clicking on to another video so I am in the middle of wash day and I am going to be trying a new deep conditioner today in this wash day it is a brand that I've used frequently but never tried this particular deep conditioner it is the Janssen's moisture max conditioner I think I've seen this before and it was in a bottle Correct me if I'm wrong, or maybe it was a rinse out conditioner. I'm just confused. When I went on and saw this, it was during one of their sales. It was one of the few things you guys left me to buy because everything was sold out. Um, I just decided to give this one a try because I have loved, loved every single deep conditioner I have used by Camille Rose. So I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna be letting you know how it works. So if you're interested in seeing the Janssen's Moisture Max, conditioner in action by Camille Rose, then stay tuned. Okay, so this deep conditioner features coconut milk and aloe vera. It has the typical um, deep conditioning instructions, but this one says leave on for 35 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen one that said that that long. We typically do, but it says it is a cocoa aromatic moisturizing conditioner enriched with vitamin E, virgin coconut milk, and aloe vera juice crafted to minimize the appearance of split ends and frizz. I will, um, oh my gosh, this has some great ingredients. I am not gonna read them all, I'll read you the top few and then I will, um, hopefully I can find the ingredients online and I'll put them down in the description box for you. But it is distilled water, coconut milk, aloe vera juice, coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil, castor seed oil, I hope this is as great as it sounds. So that sounds amazing. So here is how thick and white and creamy it looks. It reminds me of, uh, I almost smell like a mint. I don't know if there's a mint in here. I get a, it kind of reminds me of Christmas like a very soft minty smell it is very thick look at that i mean like styling product thick wow i wasn't expecting that have you used this before let me know i am going to try to use this sparingly we know camille rose is not cheap um, some of the ones that I have that I'm trying to get rid of, I don't mind slathering them on, but this is probably um, the newest one that I have bought. So even though it's newer, I should be using one of my older ones. I just could not wait to try this. So I'm going to take this big section and apply here, showing you how I do it. And I will finish the rest off camera. If you have never been here before, I am generally pretty heavy-handed with my deep conditioners i believe in the concept of no strand being left behind deep conditioning once i started to do it what i call properly it was the biggest change in my hair routine that made things so much better so i apply it at the roots around the entire section and then I take a little bit more and I'm going to rub it together and I'm going to apply it on the strands by using the praying hands method. You just put your hands together and slide it down. And this feels great going on. Add a little bit more to the ends. It is really thick. Hmm. I'm finding it is disappearing on my strands. That means it is absorbing in nicely, I hope. Looks like this is gonna take a lot of applying because some of it I feel like it's just kind of sitting there. From a distance, it's just making my hair look flaky. <laughs> like it has flakes in it but I had this to happen before with a conditioner that I used and once I sat up under the heat 
I was able to tell a big difference. I didn't like the way it went on. It just didn't feel very smooth. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this. It's not the smoothest conditioner I've ever used. It's not even like softening on contact like I expected, but I am low porosity. I did do a oil pre-poo on this side, so it may be that I need to just be sure to get it everywhere and then use some heat for a little while to get it to penetrate. So I go in between the sections because I want to make sure this all has conditioner on it. The roots matter as well. Sometimes we focus so much on the ends, but if we start to take care of the hair from the roots, which is the nearest, I mean, the newest part, then we can allow that hair to grow in nice and healthy. And it also gives us an opportunity to, to start practicing good hair health. Just starting with the newest hair. Treat it well, it'll grow up well, right? So that is it. This is what I'm going to do to all the sections of my hair. I don't know what to say about this, except, yeah, it just looks like flakes are sitting on. Hmm. You see that? So I'm going to do the rest of my hair like so, and then I'm going to put on a plastic bag and I'm going to sit under the dryer for sure. It says 35 minutes. I'm probably gonna do the entire 35 minutes this time. Typically with a good moisturizing conditioner that um, absorbs right in, I could sit under 20 minutes and be just fine. This one says 35 because it is kind of sitting on top and just looks and feels a bit weird. I'm going to do the whole 35 minutes. So I will be back to let you know how it's going. So stay tuned. So I'm done rinsing out the Chances Moisture Max Conditioner. I wanted to give you a texture shot. It has been um, wrapped up in a microfiber towel for about five minutes. And it is drying very fast. I haven't even put a leave-in in yet. So that is what I'm going to do and then I will proceed with this wash day. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I will be right back with my thoughts. So I am back and I'm here to give you my final thoughts and review on this Camille Rose Jansen's Moisture Max Conditioner. Um, Originally, I thought, I'm sorry, that was such a long gap. I'm thinking here, what do I say? Uh, because Camille Rose, like when you see this brand, you instantly think moisture. You know you are going to get some amazing, great smelling, hydrating, moisturized, soft hair. And this is probably the only product I have used from them that I'm not thrilled about. I'm just not very thrilled at this. When I saw this on here, I thought maybe it wasn't meant to be a deep conditioner. Maybe it's just a rinse out conditioner, but it does say to leave on for 35 minutes. What I experienced was um, it didn't have a whole lot of detangling properties. It made my hair soft and it was fairly moisturized, but it just didn't feel smooth rinsing out. I didn't have that slip of ease in brushing out tangled hairs like I normally do with some of their other conditioners and with other brands. This was the first time I, well, I saw this and I bought it when they ran it on sale, thinking that I'd seen the uh, name somewhere and went back and looked in my stash and found this. So it is the exact same conditioner and they now have it in a jar so it used to be in this eight oh they're both eight ounces they just took it from the 
um, bottle with the flip cap and put it in a jar. I went through the ingredients to see if there was a difference. It is not. It is literally word for word ingredient, the exact same product. So if you have both of these thinking that one was some sort of, you know, some kind of product and one was another, then that is not true. So the directions on the bottle says, apply to wet hair, detangle using a wide tooth comb or fingers, and then rinse with cool water. So that has instructions of a rinse out conditioner. But this definitely says, apply detangle leave on for 35 minutes and rinse with cool water so looks like they took the rinse out conditioner put it in a jar and now say it's a deep conditioner and honestly i'm i'm not really thrilled with either of them um if you are a fan of Camille Rose, then you know what it's like to find a, a product of theirs that you say you're just not happy with. This is the first time ever I am saying that. What I will do is uh, combine these two and use it in the jar and probably use it as a, I don't know, whether I use it as a rinse out conditioner or a um, deep conditioner the next time. But I should be able to use both of these containers up if I combine them on my next use. And I wasn't thrilled with it as a deep conditioner. So maybe I'll try it as a rinse out next time. That's probably, but it's so thick. It's so thick. Like I can shake this in this bottle and it hasn't moved. Like it's still stuck down here. So I get, I definitely see why they decided to put it in a jar, but it is not my favorite favorite deep conditioner and I would not buy this one again. So you guys tell me what you think. Have you used this before? Have you bought it? Did you see it and was thinking about buying it? I'd love to know what your experience was. I'm just always looking for a, a difference. I want to know why they chose to do this other than it being thick. It smells amazing, just like all of their products do. It smells great. Really, really creamy. And on my fingers, it felt very smooth. But anyway, win some, you lose some. One more time, I'll use this and I'll be done with both of those containers. In fact, now I'll probably go ahead and just try to let this one run down in the jar and use it up. It wasn't disappointing in that after deep conditioning, I felt like my hair wasn't deep conditioned. It's not bad at all, not in that to that degree, but it just wasn't as a deep penetrating conditioner that I typically um, am accustomed to. So that is all I am saying. Will I buy this one again? No. Will I buy uh, Camille Rose's products again? Absolutely any and every time I see them on sale, I will always look for something that I can buy because the brand is amazing. Everything can't be 100%, right? There's got to be a, a little bit of yin and yang. And so this just happens to be one that's just not one of my hits. And so anyway, I'd love for you to let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to this video for many, many more product reviews and hauls and styles and my opinions on um, so many of the products that I am pulling out of my stash and reusing. I will be back on here tomorrow. I hope you will join me. Subscribe and then hit the bell notification down in the corner. Make sure when you click it that you choose all notifications and not just personalized notifications and that way the videos will just pop up on your screen as soon as they are done uploading and you won't miss a thing. Thank you for your time you guys and I will see you tomorrow okay you guys take care bye bye